All right. Uh, where we at? Uh, sound mic. Oh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Good. We're here. And since you can hear me there just for a moment, at least I hope you can. Hallelujah. All right. Where we at? Sound mic, boom mic. All right. You can hear it. Give me a sound check. I apologize for being so late. We got problems down there. The Judah system is down. Been down for quite some time. I don't know if somebody hacked into our system or what. I know we got enemies. And um, that's just the way it is nowadays, isn't it? And so it's got some crazy Casey thing up there. It knocked the whole entire system off. And I hate to see if my seven brother Steve got to go through that. It took us every bit of four days to get that thing up and running. And it's just a sad situation. Um, anyway, give me a radio check. Let me know how I'm coming in. And I'll go up there to the front check and see how y'all hearing me, if I'm being heard at all. Um, so it, it took me a while to figure out how to get this new laptop working so I could get the Saints to hear the broadcast um, down there at the bottom of the land. Saints want to hear the blog talk radio as well. They missed the sisters and sisters last night, which I'm on them figure out a way to rebroadcast it. Man, it sounds pretty low up there, though. Okay, how do you hear me now? That bought it up, didn't it? All right, man, I be having bro Scott on the run, man. Your brother Scott be hanging in there. He, he's a great help, that's for sure. Tell you what, I'll be right back in just a moment. Let me give it, take a few minutes, all right? curious about this. You know, the price of gold today is uh, $1,580. The dollar during these last three years was devalued almost 50%. When you wake up in the morning, do you care about the price of gold? Well, I pay attention to the price of gold, but I think it reflects a lot of things. It reflects uh, global uncertainties. I think people are, the reason people hold gold is as a protection against what we call tail risk, really, really bad outcomes. And to the extent that the last few years have made people more worried about potential of a major crisis, then they have gold as a protection. Do you, think, do you think gold is money? No. It's not money. It's Even a, if it's been money for 6,000 years, somebody reversed that and eliminated that economic law. Well, it's, it's, you know, it's an asset. I mean, it's the same, would you say treasury bills are money? I don't think they're money well, either, why, but why they're a financial why asset. Why central banks hold it? Well, it's, it's a form of money. reserves. So why don't they hold diamonds? Well, it's tradition. Long-term tradition. That one cracks me up. That one cracks me up every single time. It's tradition. All right, greetings to each and every last one of you. And sweet presses is strong and big Taurus. Mighty overcoming name. Hallelujah of our soon coming king. Uh, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. I'm up here playing around with this mic system and stuff, so y'all forgive me here. Uh, we have a lot of technical difficulties that are going on here that is just going to take attention. That's all there is to it. I'm just going to have to sit Myself aside, set myself apart, um, and actually get into this stuff myself. That's all there is to it. And it would be happening right when we have the great debate coming up. Hey, Rusty made a poster. And, of course, we'll be in Fairfax, Virginia. Fairfax, Virginia, November the 13th, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at the Hilton Inn Hotel. And um, we'll put out a uh, YouTube video. I, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that I have not made a YouTube video concerning this debate that's coming up. Um, hey, Elder Donnie made a post to check that out. Isn't that nice? That's all right. Hallelujah. But uh, we, um, I, I, you know, I, I had to officiate. And uh, my wife and I had to do a lot of running around. My wife's mother passed away, which many of you know. And, um, and of course, you know, it, it's kind of heavy because I had a very good mother-in-law uh, after the flesh. She was one of the ones that didn't give us any trouble, didn't give us any problems concerning our faith or belief and stuff. And she was always there to support. Um, you know, it's just a good mother, good mother, 
good mother-in-law, good mom. And most people can't say that about their mother-in-law, uh, considering especially how extreme we are here at Straightway. Huh? But anyway, um, she's a good woman. It was tough. Uh, I couldn't even hardly uh, give the message because uh, I was too busy crying, too busy crying the whole entire time. But, hey, that's, that's what happens. That's how it is. And we go on. And so there are no excuses. Uh, that is the reason why I didn't get the video up. So I'll work on it this weekend, try to get the information out to you, you, and you. Dave Maskin is going to be narrating the actual um, debate itself. And you're welcome to come. If you can get there and you want to be there uh, in attendance uh, for this debate, uh, you are welcome to come. Um, makes no difference to me um, if if 10 people show up or 200 people show up because I actually got – a meeting place big enough to hold 200 people. And more than likely, we can probably spread from there. Uh, everything's supposed to be pristine. It's in a very ritzy area um, and so forth and so on. Hallelujah. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, many of you, you've been texting me. Um, you've been um, calling. You've been leaving messages this week. And this week just wasn't the week for it. Um, I didn't hardly get back to anybody, maybe one or two people. That was it um, because I was gone Monday. I was gone Tuesday. I came back in time enough to do the scripture study, and then I had to officiate the funeral um, and direct things for the funeral um, all day Wednesday. Um, hadn't gotten much sleep whatsoever at all. Uh, in a, this week period, I have just literally have not gotten much sleep. Um and then, of course, you know, I'm of the mindset. I'm thinking, okay, everybody knows that my mother-in-law's done passed away. They know how busy I've been. So I figured that they're probably waiting until after Sabbath before they start trying to contact me. But, nope, that ain't the case. People knocking on the door, uh, calling, texting. I mean, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable. But, anyway, neither here nor say we're here. Shabbat shalom. Lord to the king. Guest calling number 310-982-4226. I do appreciate Straightway. Straightway makes up all the slack. They really truly do. The, the brothers, the sisters, they worked extremely hard. And then after I got back from the actual, uh, my wife doing, Sister Carol doing the uh, actual funeral arrangements, and we had to drive two hours away just to go to the funeral arrangement. No, two and a half hours. Um, and so that was just a five-hour drive, just driving there and then taking care of stuff and then driving back. Um then um, I had to, the next day, wake up early in the morning, uh, go to Hopkins, no, uh, what was that, Franklin, Kentucky. Our refrigerator, our industrial refrigerator went out. The feast days are coming up. Our sisters are clamoring for space. They don't know what to do, and I had to go and, and order a brand-new refrigerator. And hopefully that between myself and Brother James, Elder Doug, we'll be able to figure out something. I think I came up with a, a system, or at least the people – to be able to modify the coil in the old one, and so we'll have double the amount of space, and then we can actually get rid of a lot of these little bitty refrigerators. Because running on 220 electric is a lot more efficient than um, uh, 110. Guest calling number is 310-982-4226, 310-982-4226. you like to talk to Pastor Dow, we're here tonight. Um and let's go ahead and let's get right after it. Let me see where we at. We um, cut on the mic. The boom now. Hallelujah. Get me over here. All right. 929 Junior. It's Pastor Dow. You're on the Strawberry Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help you, Junior? Shalom, Pastor. Um... Shalom, Junior. I still apologize for what I did two weeks ago when I was talking about um Pedro, I mean Roberts. Remember something? I was cutting you off and all that, but this only I'm sorry about that. I apologize for that. Please forgive me, Pat, for that. Please forgive me. Yes, sir. Bless you, Junior. Go and be at peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up? <laughs> oh, um that's um thank you so much for that message last week, last year, but thanks so much for that beautiful message. That was a good message. You enjoyed it, huh, Junior? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Should help a lot, huh? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Help me out. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I got some I got surprise on me, I guess. Yeah, I got to work on myself, you know, being perfect, being 
impeccable. You know what I'm saying? It's only way about make to the kingdom being impeccable. Yep. The most High wants us mature. Wants us to be impeccable, with character. And it looks like you're working on it pretty diligently, Junior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got to. Cause I got no choice. Pass. I must press forward. If I don't press forward, I'm gonna lose. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll deceive myself. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, I remember that Mary played that um that Ron Paul and that um Bernanke do. I remember you played it the first time five years ago. I remember that. Uh huh. The first time. I remember that man. I, I was cracking up, man. He was cracking. Up. I was cracking up too. Wow, man. And people still believe it. You know what I'm saying? Some people believe that their money is money, but don't feel the money. They know that too. The elite know that, but he wanted to see the people. Yeah, I know. Yes, well, sir. that is crazy. I, I can't do that. Yes, man, sir. we got yes, people up here all. running to the gas stations because of that oil spill that's taking place in Alabama. They run to the gas station, Junior, buying up all the gas. Man, you can tell these people are not prepared for nothing. Yes, sir. I heard about that too. That was the same yeah, um, I'll be on that. Yeah, gas station in Alabama from Houston. Have a Houston then at least. Out of balance, they're going to take the whole southeast and go up to New York Harbor. Yes, hey, sir. Yes, sir. I had already um, made a video on it. I haven't posted yet. And no sooner as I said, do you know what they're going to do? They already got the gas in the ground that they already paid for. They're going to jump the prices five to ten cents. Bro, Shane came in and said, yeah, they jumped the price to seven, seven cents just because of this spill. And that, see how they gouge and Hey, what a world, huh? Is that, is that, that's, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. They, that's why the Indians are protesting in South Dakota because, you know, they build a pipeline, it's going to happen the same way the leak's going to happen. It's going to affect the waters. Well, everybody can that's see fun. the proverbial writing on the wall. America don't have too much longer. We just don't. We don't have too much longer left. Yes, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, bless you, Pastor. Yeah, good night. I pray for you every day. I pray for the ministry every day. So, keep on, Pastor. Love you so much. All bless right, my you. brother. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, sir. Let's go to Virginia, the brother Chris. Call number 571-571. Well, this is Pastor Dow. You're on the Survey 2 radio broadcast. How can I help you, brother Chris? Shabbat shalom, Pastor. How are you? Bless the most high God. How you doing, brother Chris? I can help you. Hallelujah. Well, sir, that's for me. I'm in a terrible condition, but the most high has been uh, pretty merciful to me, and uh, he's kept me for another spot, so I'm grateful. But, uh, Pastor, this is the... I do have a question for you. I guess it's like kind of in a two-part thing. Um... Pastor, I came to you last Shabbat asking you if I was required to fast, and you gave me the answer that was truthful. For that, I thank you. Um, I told you I don't want to because uh, I'm literally harassed and tormented and convicted uh, so constantly that I have uh, I've almost given up. But um, Joel, you, you told me uh, if I did not want to do it, then don't do it. Yeah. I am... Uh, I'm curious about, or not curious, I just want to ask you, how come uh, you said that? And then Joel 2.12 um, talks about the Most High turning to him with all your heart with fasting. And this is, I'm asking you for a second witness. You just um, answered your own question. Sure. You just answered your own question when you read it. When it says turn to him all your heart, it's obviously your heart is, wasn't in it. You know, what we do in this walk, everything must be done of a willful spirit, a willing spirit. And if you listen to yourself talk, you say you didn't even want to do it. So why fast when your heart is not in it? And if you're going to turn to him, you're going to turn to him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your spirit. Ain't no need to set up there bringing a half offering or a quarter of an offering. So you answer your own self. Now, you know, the reason why I come, I told you, if you didn't feel like doing it, don't do it. Because if you did, it would have been all been in vain anyway. Okay. That makes sense? Other than that, Pastor, uh, yeah, that makes perfect sense, sir. All right. Um, 
Pastor, really, really, really quick. Um, when you were filled with the Holy Spirit, uh, what happened exactly? You just, uh, or I guess I'm asking, what did you feel? Well, one thing I felt was conviction. Heavy conviction. I'm sure y'all heard my testimony before, but when I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, nobody told me nothing about speaking in tongues. I just did not know. I knew nothing that the Bible said anything about it. I didn't know. The place that I went, they didn't tell me that I would speak in tongues. Nobody told me nothing. Um, I cried out to the Most High. I confessed all my sins, iniquities, and transgressions. And then after that, I began to praise him with all my might. I began to clap my hands. I began to praise him. All this is not at the prompting of anybody telling me nothing. People was around me um, praising and clapping their hands and shouting. They was even doing that when I was repenting, but I was too busy focused in on just me and the Father. All of a sudden, things start changing in my inward man, from my belly and my throat. Everything start changing. <laughs> And man, when my uh, out of my belly, just like the Bible says, start flowing rivers of living water. I can tell that was my, it's like my vocal cords or something was being transformed or something. And I begin to speak in tongues as the spirit of Yah give the utterance. That's the reason why I keep saying over and over, and over again. Uh, the people who have the argument is always at the mercy of the ones with the experience. I've done the religious thing, but there was no power on earth that could actually transform Pastor Dow. And when I had that experience, uh, when I got home, the first thing I did was open up my Bible. I stayed up all night long researching what has happened to me. And then I understood and I knew that I had received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So that's the reason why nobody can tell me that there ain't no such thing as no Holy Spirit. And guess what? The Holy Spirit is available unto you too. And to many, as many as uh, Yahweh Elohim calls that are far off. But if you get around the wrong teachings... You get around the wrong ministry, you get around the wrong religion, and they try to explain it away, and all that other stuff, you'll never receive it. You'll never know what it means to have power, and usually the people who speak against the Holy Spirit, they have never had any power to cast out a devil, to heal the sick. they never done any mighty work in his name whatsoever at all. So at least in Metitiayu, you know, there will be many coming unto him saying, Lord, have we not cast out devils in our name, done many marvelous works, and all in our name. Then he's going to say, yeah, yeah, you've done all that, but you depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. So what about the people who have never done nothing in his name? At least these other people had a testimony. It's just that their heart was in the wrong place. But today, people, all they got is mental assent, a bunch of mouth and a bunch of words, but nothing of the power of the Spirit to back them up to let them know that Yahshua HaMashiach Yahshua, Hamashiach, Jesus, the Christ, who is Yahweh in the flesh. And that's another revelation. That's the reason why most people are going to miss the kingdom. And most people that deny that the Father is in the Son, and the Son in the Father, they got a special place reserved for them, and it definitely ain't Shemaim that's coming down to set up the new Jerusalem. That is just the truth. So, I preach and teach that people should receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit based on my own personal experience and what it has done in my life and the transformation that has taken place. And I know that the Bible is right and somebody is wrong. That was beautiful. Thank you. 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 Let's go to Brother Cool James. There in Maryland. Brother Cool. Eric Cole 443443. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight Red Truth Radio broadcast. I can help you, Cool. Oh, Pastor! Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor! Hallelujah. Pastor, we are encouraged. Just wanted to call you and then, uh, say thank you for all the teachers that will be coming through and all the teachings and just persevere through, through the good, through the bad, and just staying plumb line. Hallelujah. That's all I have, Pastor. I really didn't have nothing else, Pastor. You have been consistent. 
And I tell you, man, when things are not going right, that consistency, <laughs> it do help you through. And just by you being, because I don't, you know what I mean, we don't always get to see the struggles that you go with, but being a man of yeah, I can only imagine what the devil throw your way. So just hear the saints of Maryland, we're definitely praying for you, Pastor, and for whatever we can do, if you can reach out to us, we'll be more than glad to oblige. May the Most High Yah continue to increase you in strength, knowledge, understanding, wisdom, and all that that come with it. And I can only pray that he give us the heart of the servant so we can follow and not make your work any more difficult. Yourself and all the elders and all the time they've been spending with us on the, on the phone, on the text, on all these other stuff that we keep bothering them with all the time. We really do appreciate it. So I just wanted to call for anybody who's listening as far as the elders, pastors, whatever the case, and even brothers who just take the time off to give us coaching over the phone or what have you. We really do appreciate y'all, and we're definitely in a fight and a struggle, and we've not been taken out, and we don't plan on being taken out either, Pastor. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Good to hear from you, my brother. Good to hear from all y'all up there. Stay encouraged. It's a blessing, Pastor. Yes, sir. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Oh, Maryland is encouraged, ain't they? Let's go to Brother Miguel. Call number 775-775. Pastor Dow, you're on the Survey Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help you, Brother Miguel? Brother Miguel, you there? Shabbat Shalom, Shepherd. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shepherd. Shabbat Shalom. I'm just uh, calling in and uh, just to say thank you for all you do. Yes, sir. Bless you, love you. Um, and also that uh, San Antonio Saints will be gathering at Brother Christian's home tomorrow morning. All right. Which yeah. includes myself, uh, Brother Christian, uh, Sister Crystal, and her daughters. Sounds good. Y'all stay encouraged. All right, sir. Yes, sir. Bless you. Bless you, my brother. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. All right, let's go to Pennsylvania. Call number 717-717 to Brother Arcilio. This is Pastor Dow, you on the Sherry Truth Radio broadcast. Uh, how can I help you there, Brother Arcilio? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Bless you, Pastor. Uh, we, we, just, we thank you so much for everything you do, uh, as always. And... Um, there's been so much that I've been learning, listening to you uh, about myself. You were telling us that we really don't know ourselves. And and one of the things that I ran into was exactly that. And, and I'm getting to learn who I really am and uh, what parts of me that need to change. Um, it is a painful truth, but a beautiful truth, because I can't change it unless I see it. And you're the only man that has shown me me, truth. And I really appreciate that. Bless you. Well, you're welcome. Hallelujah. Uh, you're you're, you're the, the one person that I know that um, has come with the truth. Um, and I'm just grateful to Yah for you and all the straightway and the love that y'all show. Uh, I have some saints that want to say shalom to you. Um, but before that, I just want to say that you are a, an honorable man. I have met very few, um, and I and just it's a reproof to even be around you because I have to really struggle to get through the parts of me that I don't want to identify with. So again, I thank you for your honesty. Well, you're welcome. Just continue to keep praying my strength in the Most High Yah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Some saints want to say shalom to you. Shalom, Pastor. This is Brother Rob. Just want to say thank you. And just just happy to have you as a shepherd and just continue to do what you're doing, Pastor. Hallelujah. Bless y'all. And uh, two sisters there that just want to say Shabbat Shalom. Hey, bro, Rob. Yes, sir. How's Brother Dionez and all them doing? Uh, all, uh, the, the brothers are doing all right. I haven't uh, heard from Brother Dionas because they moved, so I haven't seen him in a uh, couple Shabbats. 
But uh, one of the sisters said that his wife is, is all right, but I haven't heard from her. All right. Okay. I'm all right, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. No, I can't hear you. Put your mouth close to the mic. Shabbat Shalom. This is Sister Katie. Oh, I can hear you now, Sister Katie. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, my dear. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Who's this? Malaysia. Malaysia, how you doing? Dad, how are you? All right. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Glory to the King. Let's go to Florida. Call number 727-727-Brother Peter. It's Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight Rate Truth Radio broadcast. How can you help me, Brother Peter? Shabbat Shalom. Hey, Pastor, how you doing? I'm blessed and most high, y'all. Hallelujah. Um, man, yeah, it sounds like you had a stressful week. I have. But once I got you through, hallelujah. Um, that's good. That is most glorified to stay in the spirit and just keep pressing on wherever the devil throws at you. Hallelujah. Give you a stand up in prayer, prayer and, and being steadfast. And I pray for that for everybody. But anyways, I have two questions, sir. Um, I wondered about this uh, just now. I wondered uh, did, did the Messiah ever grow up in a tribe? Be it that you know we only have four gospels inside the Bible, and I was just wanted to ask just just to stimulate you know some some thought or some research because actually decided I will probably research this just to find out. So I just want to ask you. Is that, is that a truth or, or a lie? First of all, number one, the Messiah is of the tribe of Judah. Oh, hallelujah. That's right. And that's really all you need to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, hallelujah. Second question is, um, if ever I watch, you know, and follow this straight way, there's been a lot of, you know, helicopters and planes flying around my house and stuff like that. I feel like I'm being watched, to be honest. I know. And I was wondering if that, if that is normal. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm sure somebody will know the devil watching because he's watching us. So you don't have nothing to worry about. Just be at peace. The angel of the Most High God is encamped around about them that fear. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. That is absolutely true. Hallelujah. All right, that's all I have, sir, and um, I'm praying for the strength, unity, and peace for the saints and you and and everybody else. So uh, I just pray and bless you, sir. So uh, Shabbat Shalom. Bless you, brother Peter. Shabbat Shalom. Bless you. Let's go to Canada. To brother Steve and sister Wenda. Call number 705. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight Retreat Radio Broadcast. I can help you, brother Steve. Shabbat Shalom there, Pastor. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. Hey, I did leave that computer on. Um, I saw you log me in, but, man, that thing is froze up, ain't it? Yes, it is. Um, we'll take a look at it in a couple days, and we'll get that fired right up there, Pastor. Hallelujah. How can I help you? <laughs> well, I want to say thank you for uh, having Mother Bullock up here, and it's been uh, some sweet fellowship and uh, it's lovely to be around uh, such a, a, a woman of the Father. Hallelujah. Yeah, it is. Good to be around a seasoned mother. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. We've been uh, out and about and just enjoying each other's company. Hey, I got y'all pictures too. Y'all look, y'all look like y'all enjoying yourself. Oh, uh, it's it's so peaceful, Pastor. Uh, and um, uh, Sister Wonder wants to. Uh, She's got something for you. Sure. Hold on one second. <laughs> That's pretty good, Sister Wendell. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, 
Great. She, she's doing quite the job there. <laughs> Glory to King. So we want to give you a shout out, and uh, we've been keeping you and uh, Sister Carol lifted, um, as as well as Pastor Corey and Sister Jennifer. Um, there's a beautiful video on that uh, they've done. It's called Yah uh, Perseveres the Saints in a in a car accident. And it's just yeah. uh, it's a beautiful video. If I, if I hadn't seen it, uh, please do. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, thank you, Pastor, and uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll get that going, and uh, we'll send you some more photos as well. All right. Be Shabbat encouraged. Shalom. Thank you for the banner. Shabbat shalom. Oh, you're very welcome. Shabbat. Hallelujah. Let's go to Pennsylvania. Call number 215 215, brother Roger. This is Pastor Dow. You on the Survey 2 radio broadcast. How can I help you, brother Roger? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Powell. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. Yes, sir. And, and, and I know I don't speak properly all the time. My name is Roderick, sir. Oh. So I'm so glad to be in the presence of, of your teaching, sir, and I'm so sorry to hear about your, your passing of your mother-in-law, and uh, I send out my prayers to your, your wife and to you, sir. So I just want to say, be encouraged, and I'd like to say that um, being an advanced age I am, I have seen a whole lot of phases that our people have gone through, right. and I've been blessed, I feel I've been blessed to see the beginning of our nation once again. Praise yeah. God. Lord to the King, the restoration of all things is at hand. And uh, Brother Shane, make sure you correct that. It's not Brother Rogers, Brother Roderick. Make sure you make that correction here. I'm reading off of a switchboard, Brother Roderick, and that's how I end up saying Brother Rogers. But, um, but that's uh, okay. I mean, it, 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 you know what? My word is better than my, than my name. I like to keep my words, and that's, 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 that's what I stand for. That's and I like you to speak to my daughter. It's another uh, glorious dinner. She has fixed me so meal once again right before I go to Brother Felix's house for to celebrate surprising him. So I want you to speak to her, sir. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. Hey, bless you, Sister Hannah. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Very encouraged. Um, I just want to say I love you guys, and I have been keeping Mama and you lifted up, and actually everybody who may have been close to your mother and mother-in-law. Hallelujah. All right. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. No problem. Bless you guys and Shabbat Shalom. See you Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Glory to the King. Let's go to New York. Call number 347. Now, when I say get out of New York, man, I'm talking about the cities. Um, there are country areas in New York that are pretty nice looking places. But anyway, still I don't think the hope of Israel is, is um, especially the salvation of or the exit of is in that state. So anyway, New York, bro Jason, call number 347. 347 is Pastor Dow. You on the Survey 2 radio broadcast. How can I help your brother Jason? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Dow. How Bless. are you, sir? I'm blessed. Most, most high y'all. How you doing, sir? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm doing wonderful, Pastor. I mean, I just really wanted to call in and, uh, you know, give, give my condolences and my, my prayers and heart going out to you, Mother Carol, and the saints there about your loss there. So I just want to make sure I really, really do that for you. I mean, you know, we need to really lift you up, you know, all you do for us. So I just thank you, sir. You know, just bless you, you Mother Carol there. And uh, uh, I'm just calling in today to, you know, I, it, it, it's vexing. I, I see the videos, you know, and I, 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 I agree with you 100% for years, man. This, 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 this wicked nation is so vexing to deal with. Yes, sir. You know, I just, you know, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm really calling in for advice because I, I'm gonna tell you, New York is every nation in the world in one city. Yep. It's, it's ridiculous, man. You know, you, you, I, I, I'm on a train and young men is talking to old women like any old thing. I'm going to get this young boy up by the neck and the rest of these men looking stupid. I'm like, ain't nobody checking this boy, you know? Yeah. And, and then so if I, if I stand up for myself, stand up for my, you know, what's right, I'm going to go to jail yep. or, or, or get beat down or, or possibly killed. Well, don't let you know, the wicked. Don't make no kind of sense, man. Don't let the wicked vex you. 
Um, have faith, have it to yourself, knowing that you're in the midst of an evil, wicked, and perverse generation. And uh, they're going to have their reward, that's for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, so I, I'm, I'm obedient. You know, I'm definitely not, I'm obedient, you know, because I'm not uh, as big of a fool as I used to be. The, the, new, the new man is, is in, in check. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even their own doggone Declaration of Independence tell them that they, you know, they would rather suffer evils and stand up for themselves against righteousness anyway. Makes no kind of sense. They knew it way back then, for crying out loud. Yes, sir. So, I. Uh, Yes, sir. So, I, but, um, you know, that's just, I, I digress, uh, my, my, my vent, I guess. <laughs> but really, I'm just, you know, glad to hear your voice. Uh, glad to be getting out of here very shortly. Um, I had to extend myself, even standing up for myself in my job. I, I worked 12 hours. I refused to work late. So they took like a $1,500, $1,800, $100 bonus from me just because I wanted to get off on time on Shabbat Eve, Friday night. So wow. I can call in on blog talk. Wow. I mean, this city, I'm, I'm telling you, man, these people, oh, this devil. But that's okay. We got the victory, so hallelujah. I don't care about the money. I, I, I'm ready to be out, so hallelujah. no problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I, I just thank you again. You know, you, you, you definitely motivated me, and um, it's through your words and your preaching and your spirit that has helped lead me out, and, and many of us out. It, 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 it's helping us with growing. And uh, I just love it, Pastor. So I just thank you, my pastor, and, um, you know, just saying Shabbat Shalom and uh, bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, Brother Jason. Bless you, too. Yes, sir. Let's go to Ohio. Call number 719 719. The brother Jermaine. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straightway Children Radio broadcast. How can you help, Brother Jermaine? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom, Saints. Uh, pastor, I just wanted to call in and. Uh, uh, to give you an update of what's going on with Mother Beasley. Um, uh, we she, we have uh, got the, the report. Mother Beasley is listening in right now uh, from the hospital, but she is doing excellent. Good. Um, come to find out, Tuesday night, she uh, wasn't feeling too well, and uh, she was having a horrible headache, and uh, we took, well, we, we went with prayer first. We did not just, just go straight running to you know, the, the, the doctor and everything, but she was like, you know, this is the worst headache that I've ever had, and it's something that's just not right. So we um, got her together, my son and I, and we took her to the hospital, and when we took her to the hospital, they ran a, a, a plethora of tests, and um, ultimately, to make a long story short, as of today, what they found out is that she had what is the equivalent of a pinprick of a blood vessel burst, and it, it, it is deemed as a as a small stroke, but she has no evidence of what a stroke would be normally. People are are used to knowing about paralysis on the left side completely and having to recover. She is uh, excellent. I mean, she was so uh, um, attentive and alert that when we were at the hospital visiting her, that she said, you know, hey, uh, it was um, uh, Wednesday. And she was like, I missed my normal call to Straightway. And I said, do you still want to call? And I called on the phone and she was able to talk to him and she was happy to do so. But I'm just proud to report that she's recovering, she's listening. She's thankful for all the love and all the support and uh, that all the saints have given. But I want to I give a shout out to uh, Brother Mike and Sister uh, Melissa here in Columbus, as well as Brother Mike and Sister Dravina, the new Brother Mike. They have been just wonderful as far as giving their support to Mother, uh, Brother Mike, and Sister Lee, Melissa have come to visit her, and, uh, and the calls have been flowing in from Brother, uh, Brother Mike as Mother calls him number eight, and his wife, Sister Dravina, the newest saints to the, to the Ohio Assembly. And we're just so thankful for all of the love and the outpouring. Uh, this, this got out to some of the saints up in uh, Pennsylvania and New York, and uh, Brother Felix texts me, uh, Brother Mike, and uh, Brother Arcelio, all, everybody just texts me. And I just want to say for myself and for Mother more so, we are thankful and appreciative of all the love. And, and Pastor, you have uh, just been excellent. I want to humbly apologize that when, when I was going through what I was going through Tuesday night with Mother, that I and, and then going into Wednesday morning, I didn't uh, really, you know, pay attention to what was going on with you, and I apologize for that. But 
Um, I just want you to know I appreciate how everything was handled. Carol got back in contact with us, while, you know, during, even during the uh, proceedings while you were busy. But we just want to thank you. We want to tell you how much we love you. Uh, this does not detour us coming for the Tabernacle's mother's talking about she wants to be there, and she's going to be there. I'm going to make sure she's there front and center. But uh, I want to say Shabbat Shalom and thank you and love, love, all love to all the saints. Uh, even if you knew or didn't know, we just appreciate the love that has just flowed from the family of Israel, and we truly appreciate it. Thank you so much, Pastor. All right, bless you. Tell, give Mother a hug for me and all the straightway, and tell her, take it easy and get well. She hears you, Pastor, because she's listening in right now on three-way on the home phone, so she hears everything you're saying. So I bless you, Pastor. Love you, and uh, bless you. Shabbat Shalom. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Bless you. Shabbat Shalom. All right, let's go to Minnesota. Call number 218-218. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Sherbury Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help you there in Minnesota? Hey, Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. And I'm driving through what seems to be like a hurricane. Wow. It's really, really boring at the moment, so I might, uh, I'm not going to stay on the phone for very long at all because I can barely see the road. So, wow. uh... I'm just probably just going to have to talk to you a little bit later. I'm on my way to Brother David. So if Brother David called in, I'll, I'll be there in like 20 minutes if you want to um, give a shout out to him. All but right. I'm just going to focus on the road. Pastor? All right, my brother. All right, Shabbat Shalom, too, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Yeah, brother David, I think you heard that. He'll be there in 20 minutes. Let's go to New York. Call number 646-646. Brother Mike, this is Pastor Dow. You're on a Straight Bay Truth Radio broadcast. I can help you, uh, Brother Mike. Um, Shabbat Shalom, my shepherd. How you doing this evening? Um, um, blessed the Lord. I just wish you a lot. Nope. Hallelujah. Pastor, I just want to thank you for everything you have been um, really showing us through the word through elders, um, through the sister to sister blog blog talk and um also I want to send my condolences out to you and uh, Mother Carol for um the loss of your mother in law and her mother. And um I'm glad that uh Brother Jermaine's uh, mother um is doing way better. You know, we've been sending prayers. I've been sending prayers for you too, Pastor. And um I just want you to know you're my family. I love you, Pastor, and um I hope you get some rest tonight and um, I can't wait for the word in the morning. To, you know, learn some more stuff about myself. Hallelujah. All right. Bless you, bro, Mike. Bless you, Pastor. I love you. I love all the saints, and I'll see you in a couple weeks, Pastor. All Shabbat right. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Man, I think the best advice that I can give anyone today is to stay away from sugar. And I know you ain't going to listen. Um, we eat sugar mostly in, in desserts here on the weekend, the wicked end. But, man, Americans consume entirely too much sugar. That's the stuff that's causing a lot of problems in your body, especially when you get older. Because sugar's a poison. Let's go to Texas. Call number 832-832. It's Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight With You radio broadcast. How can I help you there in Texas? Hello? Yep, hell is low. Uh, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, uh, this is my first time calling in, and I just wanted to, you know, make myself known to you. My name is uh, Richard Villafana. Um, you know, I, I I have many, many things I, I would like to speak with you in person about, um, Hopefully, I'll get the opportunity over Cabernet because I don't know if Brother Mitch has reached out to you. But I fully intend to put my piece in for that to be able to make it up there. All right. Looking forward to seeing you then. Um, I, I, have a, I have a handful of questions off of the top of my head. I'd like to ask you if, uh, if there's time. Well, you can ask me one or two. Um, and then when I see your tabernacles, we'll answer the rest of them if you come. Yes, sir. Uh, most definitely. Um, I was wondering if there were any particular, I guess, reoccurring problems that 
somebody would be able to bring knowledge to the table about and help in some way. Real like, girl. I heard you talking servers or something about hacking, maybe some sort of IT security or something like that. What kind of thing could I bring to the table? Uh, I don't know, unless you're technically and tactically proficient in computers on a on a uh, a serious level, like maybe a, who knows a C plus or something like that. But don't worry about it. We'll take care of it, though. Appreciate the offer, though. You're a. I'm a. I'm a you're coming I'm in broken. There was a, a I'm, I'm quite tempted to, well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm afraid that like this, I, I, I will want to make myself completely available to whatever need, need, need to be done up there, whether it's, you know, people doing work or, you know, somebody doing this or doing that. You know, when I meet you, sir, I hope to explain more in, in context, but I just would like to make myself known and, uh, you know, show my respect and things like that. I don't want to be presumptuous and call you pastor when I haven't made myself known, so I, I, I would like to show the proper respect, and I feel like there's only so much that can be achieved over a phone, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and call the day, sir. And uh, most definitely my, my respect and uh, condolences for, for, for your loss. All right, my brother. You take it easy and make sure you got your ear glued tomorrow. Shabbat shalom. Yes, sir. Shabbat. All right, let's go to Alaska to Brother Reynolds. Call number 907-907. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight Ray 2 radio broadcast. I can help you, Brother Reynolds. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. How are you? Hey, bless you, sir. Doing all right. Doing all right. That's wonderful. I'm really sorry about your loss. And uh, pray that the Most High continue to bless you and, and uh, the Straightway family. Sister Carol, pray that everything is going well with her. Everything's going pretty good. You know, I'm mother in law. It's a little bit different than a lot of people. Um, you know, she didn't give us any trouble and problem and grief, you know, concerning our conversion and following the most high Yah. Matter of fact, she may not have went along with it fully at all, but she uh, was supportive of it, at least as far as I could tell. And it's definitely in her later years she was, if you know what I mean. But, um, you know, that's the type of people I keep telling yes, over and over again that people need to try to continue to be kind uh, to those that that who are not really walking with us, but at the same time, they're not giving us any trouble. Yes, sir. And keep us in prayer as well. We have a little sick daughter here, so what's wrong with her? We've been praying over her. She's just got a fever. Uh, we've uh, been praying for her, and we've also given her a dose of colloidal silver. So. Okay. We, we, we're sure, certain that she's going to be well. So. Okay. Well, she's got uh, a fever. It's our, it's our smallest. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. If she has a fever, you rebuke it. You don't pray for it. You rebuke it. Yes, sir. You rebuke it in the name name of Jesus. Will do. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will do. Um, I wanted to. Uh, Speak with you in, in reference to the uh, the debate and everything. I'm sure. really excited about it. Uh, is, is it going to be on blog talk or uh, how is it actually going to be published when you're actually uh, participating in it? Okay. Um, man, you know what? I need to ask everybody a question. Um, well, let me see. Brother Scott, are you logged in to Blog Talk Radio? Because the Judah system is down. And usually people are able to chat during the Judah system. It must be the Blog Talk. Is that the Judah system that they're chatting through up there? And if so, how in the world are they doing that with the system that being down? I need to find that out. But, um, you know, we have our own server. We have our own server. So when you are watching us on um, 
online-church.org, um, that, that yes, is sir. our server. And so we don't have to concern ourselves with YouTube. We don't have to concern ourselves with Google Plus or nothing like that because more than likely we're going to be broadcasting off our own server. And if that's the case, uh, you already have the information to log in because it's the same stuff that you listen to or the same thing that you watch on Shabbat service. Um, so if you just yes, go sir. to online-church.org, we'll be there. But, yeah, we're looking forward to the okay. debate there because a lot of people are afraid uh, for some reason, to actually take on this type of debate. A lot of people are afraid even to talk about it, which I yeah, I find it difficult to understand. Yes, sir. Uh, just keep the high ground. I know that you got it 100%. I'm sure of that. Um, uh, it's, the, it's the world that's that's in for a treat. Uh, all the Israelites that's going to be listening in, they, they are definitely in for an eye-opener. So I um, pray that the Most High continues to move and bless you in that as you go through and, and uh, teach the world uh, the truth about uh, polygyny Hallelujah. or biblical marriage more perfectly. Yes, sir. So I will be there for Tabernacle. I'm already set. I just got to get my tent and a few uh, other things to, to bring with me. But I will be there by the help and grace of Most High. Well, I mean, since we know you're coming, you don't have to really haul all that stuff uh, across here if you don't want to. Um, um, uh, we can see what we got. Oh, I, don't, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, we can see what we got on hand, which I'm sure we have enough. The chat's Hold on for a second. It's, it's through the web? Mm -hmm. Through the what web? Brother Steve said it's separate from the Judas system. Through the website. Yeah. Through Straightway Truth? Oh, okay. All right. Glory to the King. But now, brother, we'll we'll uh, I'll get the brothers on that first day. Have them do an inventory stuff. We probably got uh, a tent, cot, uh, you know, the big stuff that you'll need. You understand what I mean? Sleeping yes, bag, you know, and that yes, and that'll help out a lot because coming from Alaska, man, that that's yeah. You don't want to drag all that stuff away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I appreciate it. Really do. Uh, that that helps out a whole lot. You know? Yeah, we'll take care of you. Last thing is that I have to pack along with me. So, how's the family doing? The Appreciate wife it. and everybody's doing. They're doing fine. She she's doing fine. She's at work right now. I'm off today to give the most all the glory. Uh, uh, it's just uh, every every once every two weeks I usually get a day off because I usually work for nine hours a day. Woo! So I usually have one day off. <laughs> Boy, you busy. Sure. So, uh, yes, sir. It's all for, for, for the, you know what it's for, though, sir. You know yes, exactly sir. what I'm doing. So, I give the most high all the glory. We're going to do this thing and uh, uh, get on back that way. Hallelujah. Got a time limit that we got to make this thing happen. So, but take care. The most high bless. And Shabbat Shalom. All right. Bless you, my brother. Y'all be at peace. Stay encouraged. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Sure. Brother Reynolds, hallelujah. It's going to be good to see him during Tabernacles. What a wonderful time, Tabernacles. All right, saints, well, that's it. See y'all Shabbat morning, all right? Bless each and every last one of you, sweet, precious, and strong. The victorious and mighty overcoming name, our soon coming king, Yahshua HaMashiach, who is Yahweh. Shabbat Shalom. The king is coming.